Hi, so today we are learning one more concept related to speed and distance. In this concept, actually, we have two trains. They are trying to cross each other completely, right? Since train is a long vehicle, we have to consider their lengths also. And there can be two cases of such problems. First is when both the trains are running in the same direction. And another one, which I'll be discussing in the next video, there we'll be discussing when the two trains are running in the opposite directions. So as you can see, I have drawn a long line. This is the line. This we are going to use as a guiding line for the direction of their motion, right? So here we have two trains. One is green and another one is red. And as you can see, I have done certain markings on this line where each marking this much actually represents 10 meters, right? So the length of this green train will be, if I call it as L1, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 5, 10 meters, that is 50 meters. And the length of this red train, if I call it as L2, it will be 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4, 10 meters, that is 40 meters. And since both the trains are running in the same direction, let's assume that both of them are running in this direction. Right? Since both of them are running in this direction, of course, we have to assume that red train is trying to overtake the green train completely. So the speed of red train will be higher than the green train. So if I assume that speed of red train which is S2 is 30 meters per minute. I am assuming in meters per minute because the lengths of the trains are in meters, right? And the markings we have done on this line are also in meters. And the speed of green train since its length is L1, I'll assume its speed as S1 is equal to 20 meters per minute. Red train is overtaking the green train. So the speed of green train has naturally to be lesser than the speed of the red train. As you can see, I have drawn these trains in a particular position where this red train is just about to cross the green train, right? So this is the starting point. Let me mark it in red. What will happen after one minute? After one minute, this green train will cover 20 meters and it will reach over here, right? So let me shift this train to its new position. It will reach here in one minute, right? And this red train will travel 30 meters in one minute. Why? Because its speed is 30 meters per minute. Red train will cover one, two, three, 30 meters and it will reach over here, right? Yes. So let's shift this red train also to its new position. The red train will reach here, isn't it? One minute ago, when the red train was just about to start crossing the green train, the rear end of the green train was over here. And the front end of the red train was also over here, right? So in one minute, red train has covered a distance of 30 meters and it has reached over here, right? And the green train has covered a distance of 20 meters because it has a speed of 20 meters per minute. So its rear end has reached over here and front end has also traveled 20 meters and it has reached over here. So we have a new situation where the red train has actually crossed this much portion of the green train, isn't it? Yes. And how much is this much portion? This much portion is 10 meters, right? How much is this much portion? This much portion is actually 10 meters. So in one minute, the red train is actually able to cross 10 meters of the green train. And what is that? That is actually the difference in their speeds, isn't it? 
the speed of red train was 30 meters per minute and the speed of green train was 20 meters per minute and the length of the green train which is overtaken by the red train in one minute is actually the difference of their speeds. So the speed at which red train is overtaking green train is actually equal to the speed of red train which is S2 minus the speed of green train which is S1 that is 30 minus 20 10 meters every minute right so the speed at which the red train is overtaking green train is actually the difference of their speeds right is it clear to you now yes so we have reached to the conclusion that the speed at which this overtaking takes place is actually the difference of their speeds right and what about the distance they have to travel yes now we will discuss that point so let me note down over here the new speed s will be equal to s2 minus s1 or simply you can say the difference of their speeds and now we will discuss about the distance they have to travel to cross each other completely so I'll erase all this so this was the situation after one minute that means in every minute red train is actually covering 10 meters of the green train and after one more minute this green train will cover 20 more meters and it will reach here and this red train will cover 30 more meters and it will reach somewhere here and now if you see properly this red train has actually crossed 20 meters of this green train right so this is this will be the situation after two minutes and after three minutes this green train will cross 20 more meters and this red train will cross 30 meters and it will reach if we if we talk about their relative positions this red train will actually reach somewhere over here crossing the 30 meters of this green train right and similarly after four minutes their relative positions will be something like this their rear ends will match and there will be 10 more meters for the front end of the red train to reach the front end of the green train and after five minutes this will be the position isn't it yes so after five minutes the front end of the red train will actually align with the front end of the green train in this process the distance traveled by the front end of the red train will be if I talk about the distances it has actually traveled the distance equal to the length of the green train which is L1 isn't it yes at the speed of S2 minus S1 right and now this red train actually has to travel some more distance and it has to reach here we are just talking about their relative positions right so how much distance it is covering in this process in this process the red train is actually traveling from here to here and in this process it is covering this much distance of course the speed will be relative speed only and the distance it is covering is actually this much and it is equal to the length of the red train which is L2 so what is the total distance traveled yes for this front end of the red train to reach the front end of the green train it is traveling the length equal to the green train which is L1 and now in order to overtake the train completely it has to travel additional distance equal to its own length which is L2 right so the total distance traveled will be L1 plus L2 let's see it once again in this particular position this, this red train has just started to cross the green train its front end is in alignment with the rear end of the green train so this is the first position and then it reaches here and both their front ends align with each other right so in this process 
the front end of the red train is actually traveling the distance equal to the length of the green train right yes and at this position also it hasn't overtaken the green train completely and in order to overtake the green train completely it has to travel some more distance which will be equal to the length of this train itself so the total distance traveled by the front end of the red train is actually l1 which is the length of the green train plus l2 the length of the red train itself right so when two trains running in the same direction and then they are trying to cross each other so the speed at which they cross each other will be the difference of their speeds and the distance the faster train has to travel in order to overtake another train completely will be equal to the sum of the lengths of both the trains right yes l2 was the length of green train and l1 was the length of the red train so now you have the speed at which this overtaking taking place and you also have the distance which the faster train has to travel in order to overtake another train completely and now you can use the formula of time and calculate the time taken by the train to overtake another train completely so if we take this particular case the time will be it is actually distance by speed distance over here is 50 plus 40 that is 90 meters and the speed over here is 10 meters per second so in this particular case it will take 9 minutes for the red train to overtake the green train completely right so this was one case where two trains trying to overtake each other